This is a good show. We got Aaron. We got Humberto. Aaron really hasn't left us yet. He's supposed to leave the lunch of a game, but we got Aaron for a little longer than we thought. So we ain't gonna complain about that. Aaron and Humberto, both uh, definitely could call them franchise players. Both time heavyweight champions. Uh oh. German suplex into a company. Aaron won his first ever heavyweight title to beat Humberto. He won an eight way elimination match just to get the right to fight him. And these guys, have, if you like what you're going to see, you're like what you're going to see here, folks, on YouTube, alright? If you like this match, look up Humberto and Aaron Douglas. These guys have had a number of quality, high impact matches. I specifically remember one time Humberto giving. Aaron, a fall away slam outside the <laughs> ring. Armani <laughs> knows. Armani's been in the ring with both these guys. <laughs> what do you got to do to prepare against these guys, man? With Humberto, you think you have to go in there physically with his size, but it's all yeah. mental. Really. You don't want it because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to try to go at him with uh, his style to try to compete, but you're at your best when you're doing your style, whatever that may be. So, lots of punches by Humberto. That's for Aaron, though. Like, Whoops him down. Hand, he's a bit unorthodox himself. Absolutely. So, you don't really have a way to prepare for him. I wrestled uh, my last match against Aaron Douglas at 117, and uh, wrestling Aaron Douglas is definitely fun, but I mean, at the same time, he's a uh, tough competitor. He, he throws it all at you. He's, Dedicated. This is uh, you know, his 80th show in a row. He's been here. We thought he was going to be gone at 117, but his uh, move to Atlanta is delayed. So we're glad to have him here for a couple extra shows. Maybe it's a lot longer, but hey, an extra couple Aaron matches is never a bad thing. This guy wrestled multiple matches on a lot of shows. Uh, he's got well over 100 matches here in WWE. They're all on YouTube, so feel free to watch those sometime. Nice headlock. Got the positioning pretty well on him. He's gonna push him off. Being a bigger man. Yeah. Huge belly to belly. Right on the back. Humberto's patent move. Humberto's been in a lot of uh, big one on one matches. He also had a 117 show. He was in a bit against Torque and uh, the reigning heavyweight champion Bouncer in a hard hitting triple threat match. So. These guys had a match earlier in the year. Uh, the Supreme title when it, uh, Humberto was still champ before he got stripped due to injury. It's crazy to think a guy like Humberto getting injured, but it can happen to anybody. Aaron Douglas! Nice elbow drop. Into a cover. Just the two. Long two, though. You gotta imagine uh, with you know both these guys in the heavyweight division. Uh, this match could have some implications into that. I mean, they're always top contenders, these guys. Not a game you want to get into with Humberto. Uh, Being with those chops, people think it's all about the sound, but Humberto is just power. Yeah, he's, in, he's a machine. He's a, a wrestling machine, no doubt about that. It's just, uh, 
meant for destruction. He's got a huge frame, 250 pounds. He lifts. That's legit. Humberto did get a revenge on uh, Aaron in 2012. Uh, oh, hung up in the rope. Right on that bad leg. I'm not sure who was the lead. Well, <laughs> maybe been a little blow, little blow himself. Humberto won his heavyweight title back off of Aaron. Six pack challenge. Humberto won a few wrestlers that actually won a six pack challenge match. Not many, not many guys have done that. I've done that. No, you haven't, Armani. You haven't even been in one yet. Maybe 2014, huh? <laughs> uh, previous winners of six pack challenge. So the folks at home know we got eight plus one one. Uh, Big C. Uh, Humberto right there, Dave Dawson, and the bouncer. Uh, and I know I'm missing somebody. Eric Drake won one in 2011. So those are our six winners. There'll be one in 2014, folks, so. Oh, flying headbutt, uh, and he missed. I guess we're and, uh, right on the head there. Oh, uh, Humberto got a fly. Humberto in the homemade ring in, in back at the, you know, mid Westminster Arena, if you want to call it that, did not go off the top rope because nobody but Angel stuff. and Aaron can do that. But, oh, right into the gut. Goodbye, Aaron Douglas. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's intentional. It, we don't know. I, I thought Aaron might have been dead after the headbutt. I've never seen Aaron go for a flying headbutt, but then again. Oh. He's ripping uh, Aaron's chicken legs off. Good for Humberto. Yeah, he is. Aaron's gonna need a minute. I think uh, deep down though, Humberto respects Aaron Douglas. Except not, no, no, forget that. That's out the window. But no, seriously, uh, you know, Aaron's a hard competitor. He's not afraid of Humberto. Like he may be a little wary of some of the moves he does, and I don't blame him at all. I've been in the ring with Humberto, uh, but you know he doesn't he doesn't back down from Humberto. And I think Humberto respects that. Some people fear him. Kilo, nice. All on Humberto. Like you said, some people. Oh yeah, some people. Armani is not one of those people. Armani, the new supreme champion. The waiting the winner of uh, next week's show, the uh, Otis and uh, Humberto match. Humberto's got himself a more contenders match. He's been making his first title defense at 120. A little, little way, ways off, but we, we anticipate that. And Aaron's running. Aaron is running. And he gets in the ring. Now he's got the high ground. Uh oh. <laughs> he gets hung up in the rope. Nice kick to the head. It looks like I'm just bleeding from the mouth. I could be mistaken. Hard to tell from here. Humberto is uh, feeling it, but he's, he's calling for the end. This could be it for Mr. Douglas. Douglas used to, in 2012, was sitting pretty high and mighty with uh, his, his cousin at the mission. Uh oh. Nice reversal. Oh, he gave Humberto the stunner. Humberto's patented move. <laughs> uh, he's mocking Watson. Humberto's uh, idol. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked up, but it's great. Yeah, you guys are playing too many of those step down games on PlayStation. <laughs> those used to be good. Those, back in the day, man, shut your mouth. The second one, those were good games. Uh, for Aaron. I know Angel got some of his moves from the game. Hey, stuck uh, from Humberto to Aaron. Authentic. Humberto has mastered that move pretty well. And a, and a kick out. Aaron, Humberto doesn't know what to do now. Craziness, craziness ensuing right now. Humberto's starting to get a rage. Uh -oh. But he's all over the ropes. He's gonna have to pull him off. Actually, no way. He's trying to think. Humberto's knowing, having a moment. Knowing Aaron, I think he did that on purpose. Oh, yeah. Well, the sin, the, you, you get sent flying back on some of those moves. I've been stunned by Humberto. I just went out of the ring. 
Uh -oh. What is he thinking of? He's going up top. Oh. High risk. High reward if he can get it. No. Oh god. Oh, close up off the top rope. Okay. Into a cover. And that's it, folks. Aaron Douglas has won the match. He stole one right there. I got to say, that to me, that's a little bit of an upset. I be on the other shit. I'm harder than they constantly. And that's because I'm different than their mother shit. You off to rich, I'm off to rich. Call a bitch. Fresher than my lozenges. The problem 